Congresswoman Liz Cheney says this bill is, quote, a real tragedy because she says if you'd made it more targeted, you could have had GOP support. What's your response? I'd like to know who she would like to have as target. Uh, I look in this legislation and I see it targeted uh, to children. And that's why we're doing something for children that we've been trying to do now for 18 years. We're going to cut the poverty rate for children in half. That's targeting to me. Uh, black farmers. Uh, one report yesterday say, yes, they said that this program would do more for black farmers than anything since the 1964 uh, uh, Civil Rights Act. That's targeting to me. Uh, this legislation targets children who need to get back in school. Uh, so they keep saying these general things, targeted. Uh, I suspect that if we were targeting the wealthy, they will be lining up to vote for it. About those black farmers, um, as you know, Senator Lindsey Graham um, isn't pleased with how targeted it is for black farmers, and he has um, a different word than targeted. Here he is. Let me give you an example of something that really bothers me. In this bill, if you're a farmer, your loan will be forgiven up to 120% of your loan, not 100%, but 120% of your loan if you're socially disadvantaged, if you're African-American, some other minority. But if you're a white person, if you're a white woman, no forgiveness as reparations. What's your response? And is this a form of reparations? Lindsey Graham is from South Carolina. He knows South Carolina's history. He knows what the state of South Carolina in this country has done to black farmers in South Carolina. They didn't do it to white farmers. We're trying to rescue the lives and livelihoods of people. He ought to be ashamed of himself. He knows the history uh, in this country, and he knows what has happened to black farmers. The lawsuit that we've never uh, been able to uh, rectify, we've had so much recalcitrance. Lindsey ought to be ashamed. And what do you say to Lindsey Graham or whomever who says that this is a form of reparations? Well, I think you ought to go back and um, maybe go to church, get in touch uh, with his uh, Christianity. Also included in the massive COVID relief bill, $5 billion in assistance to black farmers. Advocates say that this move is historic, and they say it's overdue. If the bill is approved, the money will go toward paying off the debt of disadvantaged black farmers. It will also fund a racial equity commission at the USDA to address long existing discrimination in the department. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham has another name though for the assistance, reparations. Let me give you an example of something that really bothers me. In this bill, if you're a farmer, your loan will be forgiven up to 120% of your loan, not 100%, but 120% of your loan if you're socially disadvantaged, if you're African American, some other minority. But if you're a white person, if you're a white woman, no forgiveness as reparations. What does that got to do with COVID? God help us all uh, if we don't check and balance them in 2022. Right. Well, it's, it's really not reparations. What's troubling for me is that uh, 49 senators with uh, 10 different or so amendments uh, voted to to pull the language out of the out of the, out of this uh, spending bill. Uh, so here you have a, a group of uh, people who barely can defend themselves, and instead of uh, these senators uh, voting to support uh, a historic measure like this, where I've been trying to get debt relief for uh, black farmers and other farmers of color for over 30 years. Uh, I never heard uh, Senator Lindsey Graham speak out against discrimination, where I've been spat on and called racial epithets and had my app USDA applications torn up and thrown in the trash can. He knows that they're discrimination. He represents a state where there are many black farmers in South Carolina. And I've never heard him speak out against discrimination, but he doesn't want us to, to get any justice here. So there's something terribly wrong with this picture. Certainly from your perspective, the 120 percent forgive, uh, 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 I guess, uh, being forgiven of, of loans. That's something that is necessary. Explain from your perspective why that is necessary when someone like Senator Graham is essentially saying, why would it be 120 percent? It should be maybe maybe 100 percent or it certainly shouldn't be 120, he would say. Well, there's taxes, too. 
what the senator needs to understand is this is for farmers of color, black farmers, Native American, Hispanic farmers, whoever fits the, de the definition of socially disadvantaged farmers. So he didn't even read the, the bill here. And this is something where uh, black farmers have, sh should have been getting the whole time. Uh, when I lost my farm at USDA, there was a local farmer in my area uh, by the name of Bill Norgood who received a, a debt write-off. And he said, John, you, you should have got a debt write-off for, for this. My example there is, is black farmers haven't been getting uh, debt write-downs or debt write-offs. And quite frankly, we haven't been participating in just about any of the USDA programs. Subsidy programs, the, the Trump uh, uh, payout, uh, uh, $16 billion, who I've, I've personally spoken to you about before, Graham, we're totally absent from all of these programs. And here it is, uh, some 30 years later, we, we get to have some a little bit of justice here. And, this, and instead of doing that, uh, the Republicans are beating down on, on black farmers and, and farmers of color. They need to look at history, you know, from going back to slavery, from sharecropping to Jim Crow, and black farmers were able to survive and hold on for, in a very brutal time in history. And we're still struggling. And this is America. And uh, the United States Department of Agriculture should be lending a hand up to black and other farmers of color instead of helping to put us put us out of business. And uh, we're facing extinction. And uh, when animals face extinction, such as the, the brown bear and the black bear, and the bald eagle and the rockfish, Congress puts laws in place until their numbers come back up. Why can't we do that for the oldest occupation in history for black people in this country, which is 